Hey everybody, Ilya from Improvado here. Today I'll show you how you can use Improvado to extract and load your data to Snowflake, plus a quick overview of a notebook you can use to analyze and visualize your data directly in Snowflake. To follow along, you'll need two things. Snowflake account, you can use trial account, and access to Improvado instance. Let's get started. First, open the Improvado data platform and log in to your account. Now, let's connect some data sources. Click on the Connections tab in the side menu, then click on the Make a New Connection button. For this example, let's connect Google Ads and Facebook Ads. Let's start with Google Ads. Use the search bar to find this data source, and then select it. Authorize your Google account using the Sign in with Google button. I already have it connected, but you will be redirected to the Connections page, where you will see your new connection. Once the connection is created, let's do the same for Facebook ads. Use Search to find it, and then select an account for authorization. Now that we have two connections ready, we need to set up data extraction for them. Let's start with Facebook ads this time. Click the Extract button here. This will open the extraction flow for this connection. First, select accounts for which the data will be extracted. I will choose an only available account here. Then, choose an extraction template that you want to use. You can use the filter by fields to see which report best suits your needs. Let's say I want to see templates with creative ID field. I'll select the ads region template. In this step, you can configure your reports scheduling and any custom settings or metrics. Here, it is essential to note the data table name, which we will use later to set up the data load. I'll leave everything else as default and click Continue. As a final step, you get an overview of extraction orders created based on your configuration. Click Continue to finish the configuration for Facebook ads. Now you will need to do the same, but for Google ads. So select accounts, template, and configure the report. After the initial extraction, you can preview the extracted data by opening the data table where our extraction orders are located. In this case, I have data table for Facebook ads ads region report. Open the preview tab to check 10 rows of your data. We now need to set up Snowflake as a destination. Open the destinations page and click add a new destination button. Select Snowflake from the list. On the Snowflake connection page, fill in the required fields. Then click Continue. After the destination is created, it will have initializing status. If the connection is successful, you will see the active status. The only thing left to do here is to load data we extracted from Google Ads and Facebook Ads accounts to the Snowflake destination. To do this, open the Snowflake destination we've just created and click Set up Load. Here, we need to select data tables that we want to load to our destination. Choose the data tables you've created for Google Ads and Facebook Ads and click Continue. You can change scheduling settings here, but I'll leave everything as default. Click Create to finish the configuration. Now our data will be loaded to Snowflake. Now let's head to Snowflake and check our data. First, sign into your Snowflake account. Go to the Databases tab for a full list of databases in your Snowflake instance. Select the schema where you set up data load to see a list of its tables. You'll need to create a new SQL worksheet to query your data. Go to the Projects, then Worksheets. 
Here, click the plus button and select SQL Worksheet from the drop-down. You can select the table you want to query using this side menu. For example, I want to query data we extracted from Facebook ads. So I write a simple SQL query and run it. Check the data loaded to this table in the results view or create a chart to help you visualize it. You can also use notebooks to analyze and visualize your data in Snowflake. Here is an example that shows the cross-channel performance model. So we have multiple cells in this notebook to process our extracted data. Now let's run it. So the notebook finished its run, and now we can check the results. As you can see, we have different transformations and calculations. And finally, we have charts that can help you visualize the performance of your reports. This is a more complex use case, but we wanted to show you the capabilities of Snowflake notebooks. In this video, we've covered how you can use Improvado to extract and load your data and how to analyze loaded data in Snowflake using notebooks and queries. For more information, please check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.